What's going on everybody? This is Rami with another Tech Talk. The camera was a little shaky there. What's going on everybody? This is Rami with another Tech Talk and today we have EV Eviator Full HD Car DVR with HD night, time, night vision. Um, this thing is a dash cam for your car and it brings a backup camera with it. Super cool item. Let me just give you the logistics. It has super high res wide angle shot. Uh, 1080p, 720p, and 480p recording, AVI, M, JPEG video format, photo resolution is 12M, 10M, 8M, 5M, 3M, 3M, so you can change the size on that resolution. It has a built-in microphone inside of it, full HD recording, it has a 4.0 inch display, gravity induction. Gravity induction is something very, very cool. I've never heard of gravity induction. Gravity induction, what it is, is if you're in a car accident, and you know the force, the g-force of that car accident. Um, this has this has a sensor inside of it to detect that g-force. And what happens is it locks that footage so that way it can't be overridden by the camera itself. Uh, so if you know about DVRs and all that, you can lock your footage in uh, so that if someone tries to record later on they won't override it because you locked it. It does come with a user manual. Um, the user manual on this is not so detailed on how to operate the DVR. It's more detailed of what the buttons do. It doesn't really tell you what you can do. Um, so that's pretty much onto you. But it is pretty easy if you're tech savvy. It is very very easy to set up. Um, and I'm going to you know, we're gonna go outside real quick and I'll show you how uh, I did all that. So right here is the camera and just to turn it on real quick, holding the power button for such time, uh, you can see it turn on. So that is it right there, it is recording. I could stop the recording right here by pressing the OK button. Uh, it has the front cam and rear cam recording at the same time, which is very cool. Hitting the mode button real quick. Uh, I can change it to just view the front camera and hitting it again, I can change it to just view the rear camera, which is really cool. So if I wanted to just record only driving with the rear view camera, I can. Hitting the mode button again, I switch back into the front camera, or actually hitting the mode button again, uh, I go to my playback video, um, which I was recording right then there. I do have an SD card, it does have the power cord, which by the way, it um, the power cord comes all the way down and uh, connects right there. Now they give you a long enough cable and here's the reason why, here's the reason why. They actually give you instructions that you can go above the panel right here, bring it down uh, inside through all this and then you can pop it out and put it right here. Now. I just chose this simple route of just letting it hang right there, it doesn't matter to me. But this other cable that you see going down through this uh, middle part, that is my rear view camera. Now my rear view camera, uh, if you know how to take apart your car, then it'll take you maybe 30 minutes to set it all up. But um, that cable, let's go to the passenger side. It's starting to rain right now. It's ridiculous. Hurry, it's gonna rain. So I got some rear view camera right here um, and I went all through the underbody right there, zip tying everything, boom. And then underneath my passenger seat, there's literally a hole right here uh, with a rubber grommet that I could put the cable through. So I put the cable through. My camera's getting wet. So I took the cable underneath the car, uh, there's that little spot. Now if you want to get this same product and you don't know where to put your cable through so you can reach to the back of the car, my recommendation is go on YouTube, you're already on it right now, or if you're watching from Amazon, go on YouTube and 
research how to put on a backup camera in your specific car, put the year, make a model, and then it'll t you'll find a lot of people that have done it already. They'll show you if you have that same little rubber grommet underneath your carriage or your car, you can run it through there. If not, you can actually run it through your floor and uh, back to your trunk and then back behind some panels and get it to where you want it to be. Uh, now, the backup camera on this device, I ended up having to remove the two screws that were on the back. I had to remove the two screws that were on the back of the camera and uh, I actually had to flip the camera upside down because uh, the way that I put the camera it, I put it actually upside down. So with just removing the two screws, flipping it upside down or right side up for me, uh, I ended up fixing that problem and then my backup camera worked flawlessly. So uh, if you have to do the same thing, go ahead and do it and yeah. It does take a micro SD. These little guys can run you about uh, 16 bucks. Um, I got a 32 gig. Amazingly, this little 32 gig was actually cheaper than the 16 gig. The people that worked at Walgreens couldn't even understand why it was 16 bucks. He actually found out that there was a sale on the 32 gig. So hey, I ended up getting the 32 gig and you might be able to do the same thing. Or you can go on Amazon and find yourself a 32 gig or a 16 gig, whichever one you want, uh, for a fairly cheap price. Links in the description below where you can get yourself one of these and I'll see you guys next time. This is Ram with another Tech Talk. Man, it started to rain. Deuces. Thank you.